You sticking around? Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. So today I'll be trying out the Maybelline Hydrate and Smooth Fit Me Foundation. I've had my hands on this foundation for a while. I just haven't got around to testing it until now. So I picked this up for $6.99, which is super affordable. You get one fluid ounce of product, which is standard for a bottle of foundation. I purchased the shade 115 Ivory, which is the second to lightest shade. There are 16 shades available in this line, I believe, which is not bad for a drugstore foundation. So looking on Maybelline's website, let's read some of the claims. So it really doesn't give a lot of information on the website. It just says Maybelline Smoothing Concentrate hydrates rough patches, leaving skin with a naturally luminous finish. And it protects with an SPF 18. Dermatologist tested, allergy tested, and fragrance free. On the packaging, it says hydrates for smoother skin, matches natural tone, blends seamlessly, and that's pretty much it. So this one is formulated especially for normal or dry skin, which I am super excited about because I have insanely dry skin, especially this time of year. We're just on the cusp of winter and there's not a lot of moisture in the air right now. If you have oily to combo skin, this is probably a foundation to stay away from. So if you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss anything. If you want to know my thoughts on the Maybelline Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth Foundation and how it applies and wears throughout the day, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. I'm on to my last two hair clips. One of life's great mysteries. Where do all the hair clips go? I'm convinced that there is a giant pile of hair clips somewhere with all the missing socks of the world. So I've already washed and moisturized my face with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. So when I picked this up, I really wasn't sure what shade to buy. I ended up purchasing shade 125 Nude Beige, which in the store looked like it would be a match, but when I opened the bottle, it was just, yeah, it was just entirely way too dark for my face. So then I bought shade 115, which in the bottle looks to be an okay match, but up close, it looks really, really pink. So I'm thinking I should have bought shade 110. Give this a good shake. I'm not sure why, but there's no pump. There's no doe foot applicator. It's just pour and pray. On the right side of my face, I'm gonna use my Cat Bitten Beauty Blender. And on the left side of my face, I am going to use the Full Coverage Foundation Brush from It Cosmetics on uh, number 703. Okay, we'll start with... Stop dripping. Come on. That looks so pink. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, this is definitely way too dark and way too pink. Yeah, the color is way off. You can see the line right here where the foundation starts and ends. So to make it a little less harsh, I'm gonna blend it down my neck. I normally like to go a shade slightly lighter than my face because I'm really fair from the neck down and that prevents me from getting like the ring around my neck. I don't know what it is, but it looks like the sponge is soaking up most of the product. So, so I don't need a crap ton of coverage today, but there's like, I have like that melasma patch that's still sticking through. So I'm gonna see if I can get better coverage on the other side of my face with the brush. So the coverage on this side with the brush is definitely better than the side with the sponge. So I'm just gonna go up and finish the rest of my face with the brush. So let's get a look at this. The shade match is bad. There are no other words to describe it. I don't know if it is showing up in this light entirely, but it is so freaking pink, it's ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure it has already oxidized a shade. I put the foundation down my neck to try and blend it out better but I can see a giant line already forming where my foundation starts and ends. Other than the color though, the finish is really nice. Being that it is a more affordable foundation option, I may try the next shade down just to see if it's any better. 
This claims to be a hydrating formula for smoother looking skin. There definitely is a sheen. It definitely is a dewy finish. It doesn't feel drying on my skin, which is good. This, the color seems to be the big faux pas here that's driving me crazy. It applied really well. There's no streaks. There's no dry patches accentuated. There's no texture. There's no settling into fine lines. And it's sitting on my skin really nice. It's just the color is driving me crazy. So with that, I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Hi, you sticking around? Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Mama's gotta get to work and then I'll feed you, okay? Whoops, don't hurt yourself. So we're calling the time at 10.15. It has gone from dark to darker. I'm just gonna creep in here. Right there is where the foundation starts and ends. It is so pink. I don't know who naturally has skin this tone. It's a very odd pinkish color. It's almost like a pinky orange. A lot of these foundations like to put sunscreen in their formula, which I get because, and I'm guilty of this too, I like sometimes to be lazy and just slap my makeup on my face and get out the door. The problem is anytime a formula has an SPF in it, chances are it will darken a shade or two. This has darkened about three shades since I applied this to my face and I've only had it on for about 10 minutes. This is the second to lightest shade available so I would go to shade 110 if I were to take the chance and repurchase this again. All my makeup blended fine on top of this. So other than the color, it looks okay. It's just not looking great. There is this creasing right across my forehead that is driving me crazy. But around my eyes is actually surprisingly okay. It's weird that it's creasing up here, but not in the fine lines around my eyes. As for this foundation being hydrating, um, it seems to be doing what it says it does. It looks dewy, but not greasy. Um, there's no dryness anywhere on my forehead or on my chin, which seems to be problem areas for me. The one area that's driving me a little nuts, though, is there seems to be some texture right here around my nose, which isn't usually an issue for me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So on my eyes, I'm wearing both the Color Tattoo Maybelline Bad to the Bronze and the e.l.f. contour palette in the crease. Um, I don't know what shade it is, but I'm using the top color in the crease. For cheeks, I'm wearing the Physician Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. For highlight, I'm using Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. And for lips, I'm using uh, the Wet n Wild um, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Rebel Rose. So the next check will be in natural lighting. I will check back with you guys in five hours. So the time check is 325. Unfortunately, I can't really show you what this looks like in natural light because we really don't have much natural light right now. It's pretty gray outside. There's a big overcast and it's gonna get dark probably within the next hour. So I'm gonna scoot in a little closer. So I am looking orange, really orange. Like I think it's gotten darker. This is the foundation line where it starts and where it ends, right there. I mean, I don't know if it's showing on camera as how bad this is oxidized, but it is seriously orange. Like, I look like an Oompa Loompa right now. I mean, as far as everything else goes, it's definitely doing what it says it would do. My skin looks fine. I mean, there's no texture, there's no dryness around my chin. It's not settling into fine lines around my eyes. That one line going across my forehead is just a little bit more magnified than I would like it to be, maybe because there, there's such a sheen from this foundation. It just, it doesn't look great. Anyway, I will check in with you guys at the end of the night and let you know where this is at. So the time is 6.08. Foundation has been on for about eight hours. I'm gonna end this one a little early tonight because I don't see keeping this on my face another two hours is going to change my opinion about this foundation. And the good news is I'm not any more orange than I was earlier. The bad news is other weird things are starting to take place. Like I'm actually starting to break out right there and on my chin, there's a little bit of a pimple coming through. And I'm also, yeah, there's something in this foundation that my skin 
is not reacting too well. So be interested to see what's in the ingredients that might be causing this. It's also like there's a little bit of creasing and caking happening in my nose area too. So overall, this one was a fail for me. So those are my thoughts on the Maybelline Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth Foundation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.